look at this where they're just coming in here and they're just mowing down the tops of these things you can see all the the little snips where they come through and they just eat off those little tops just like that they are just hammering these peas and soybeans <laughs> are having an awesome summer I got one question for you is it hot enough is it hot enough is it hot enough gosh my truck thermometer is bouncing between 99 and 100 degrees with high humidity it is hot here in central Georgia and it is hard for me to get motivated to get in the middle of this to get some food food plot work done but that's what I got to do so Yesterday I swung by Seed World USA right around the corner from where I live and picked up 150 pounds of uh, iron and clay pea seed also called cow peas and this is my favorite candy for deer for summer food plots. Last year you, get, you guys might have uh, remembered a video I did showing uh, my bow plots for soybeans and cow peas and you could see how much higher the cow peas were than the soybeans right off the bat. They'll jump out of the ground within two weeks like it's six inches. Um, and the deer hammer them and they fork out a little bit better than soybeans do um, and they fork back quicker. So uh, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna simplify the process and show you guys how I get the, this seed in the ground in the most simplest, efficient manner. I'm gonna burn all my plots with Roundup and then I'm gonna come in and throw uh, broadcast seed over the weeds, in the weeds, and then I'm gonna harrow it in once, and then what comes up, comes up, and that's gonna be my uh, forage plot uh, for the rest of this season going into the fall. So stay tuned, we're gonna get some work done. All right guys, so I wanna show you this food plot right here where I had nothing but tractor supply oats planted in it. Um, it's the end of June here now, and uh, you can see all the dead uh, oats that are in this food plot. I'll show you some of the remaining seed that's still on here. Uh, as you can see right there, this stuff just dies and it falls off. So if you let this go long enough in your food plots, it just falls off. Things eat it and uh, comes back up next year. But this is going to be one of those food plots where I'm just going to uh, reseed this over or seed this with... Uh, iron and clay cow peas and uh, it's gonna disc it in and come right up all right guys so what I use to burn down my food plots is I use 41% glyphosate I get this at tractor supply it's about $50 or so depending on if you get it on sale or not um, for two and a half gallons so uh, what I typically the rate I typically run is about three anywhere from three fluid ounces to five fluid ounces per gallon as, as far as a kill rate I've had success at both. If I have more of a taller weeds, as far as like more of a bushy type of uh, plant in my food plots, I'll use like the 5%. If it's just normal weeds, I've killed it completely flat with 3%. So uh, today I'm probably gonna run about 4% because I've got almost three quarters of this jug left and I've got 60 gallons. So that'll be about perfect for me today. So I'm gonna pour this in here and we're gonna get to working.
All right guys, so I'm getting ready to go put out my iron and clay peas and just wanted to run a couple things by you. Uh, first of all, you wanna be able to inoculate the seed if you haven't grown a lot of uh, iron and clay in your food plots before because it's a legume and it needs to fix uh, nitrogen to the roots using this specific bacteria. Uh, now this is a bacteria that I get where at US, uh, Seed World USA and it's for soybeans, pea, vetch, lentils, dry bean, and peanut variety. So uh, one bag of this will do uh, a 50 pound bag. So I have three 50 pound bags. So I'm going to put uh, three of these into my hopper all at once and we're gonna mix it together. Um, now, one of the things uh, that you can do to make the bacteria stick to the seed, some people use water. I've always used Gatorade or a soda, and I'll pour it in because Gatorade and soda is really sticky with the sugar in it. And uh, it's so hot right now here that we've drank all the uh, soda and the uh, Gatorade is gone. So we didn't have any soda, but the Gatorade's gone. Um, but I found these things, these things are good for one thing and that's inoculating pea seed otherwise they end up on your kitchen floor and it's sticky like crazy so i'm going to inoculate this seed or make this slurry with uh this sticky stuff and i'll show you how i do that so come over here let me point this out to you um what i've done here i've been meaning to do this for a while in my hopper and if you use a hopper like this and you're only using you're only spreading one type of seed like oats or cow peas or fertilizer a lot of times when I'm uh, hopping from food plot to food plot, I want to put out a 50 pound bag here, a 50 pound bag in that one. And I always have to separate the bags and carry them with me because I don't know in my hopper how much I've put out. So I've been meaning to do this and I'm going to do it today and I'm just going to show you guys because it might give you an idea on how to measure um, your seed when you go, when you're hopping from food plot to food plot. So I want to put 50 pounds in each one of my spots today. And when it hits the mark here, I'm going to know uh, that I can move on to the next food pot once I uh, use up that 50 pound bag. Get every pea out of there. Every pea counts. All right, so what I have now is my 50 pound mark. I'm going to level that down real nice and I'm going to mark it right there. I'm going to put 50 pounds. I'm just going to sprinkle it around in here, stir it a little bit. Take a little bit of this worthless drink right here. I have cleaned this stuff up off of my kitchen floor from this little hole right there that leaks like you wouldn't believe. I always said, I don't know why they created this Capri Sun for kids because it's the messiest drink in the world. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put a hundred pounds. hundred and fifty pound mark. I used to do this stuff with a with my hands. I would mix it and stir it and my arms would come out black and I was like, why am I doing that? I just got a pipe and uh, that way I don't get all dirty. All right, one more worthless Capri Sun. slurry on it just enough bacteria on it to affix nitrogen so we're gonna be good uh, one thing <clears throat> about inoculating seed if all you're doing if you're a deer hunter and you're planting a food plot and you're putting soybeans in it or peanuts or any legume and all you're planning on is for them to come up and deer just to eat them and you're not planning on them going to bean or to pea um, to full maturity, then you don't need to worry about inoculating your seed. 
I'm just hoping maybe we'll get some peas out of this uh, in the long run. So I'm hoping that some of these these plants will go to full maturity, and I'll get some uh, get some peas out of this on the ground for quail, etc. So let's go spread it. where I can see it now. Whoops. Right down there, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I went from 150 down to 100 and it's right on the line, so now I'm gonna switch food plots without having to go cut open bags and carry bags with me everywhere. So that worked out really good. Why I wait so long to do things like that sometimes, I don't know. All right, guys, I'm done spreading seed. Um, I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to spread new seed into green weeds, but I guarantee you this stuff, after spraying it today, it'll die. And then after I harrow the seed in tomorrow, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow morning, the new life of the uh, iron and clay peas will come out. And hopefully we'll get a nice uh, patch back in here. It won't be perfect. There'll be weeds in it but it'll give some forage for the deer to eat. And believe me, if there's one thing they love, it's cow peas. guys I'm done I got up at the butt crack of dawn this morning and got out here and covered the rest of my seed so I got everything uh, covered across three acres of these iron and clay peas or cow peas whatever you want to call them I planted at a rate of about 50 pounds per acre um, and each bag cost me about uh, 37 bucks so uh, we'll see this soil has a lot of moisture in it right now so I think it, I think these things will pop if I can just get a little bit of rain on top of this and let it settle the uh, dirt, I think I'll be able to get a nice uh, germination right here. So um, I'm real excited about it. I know last year they hammered them. This little plot that I'm sitting in right now, they just tore the soybeans and the cow peas up. So if these things pop up six inches in the next two weeks, which they, they can do, uh, there's going to be some deer out here eating this stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm going to the house to get me some coffee and take a break so we'll see you next time if you're new to our channel thank you for stopping by if you're a new subscriber hope we earned it stay tuned we got a lot of projects coming and uh, uh both seasons right around the corner two and a half months can't believe i said that later